In this video, I will visit every Pontins in the UK. There are four across the UK in England and Wales, Southport in Merseyside, Prestatyn in North Wales, Breen Sands in Somerset and Camber Sands in East Sussex. Pontins has had a bit of a bad reputation over the past few years with some awful reviews on TripAdvisor, calling it a nightmare on earth, absolute hell, worst holiday ever, shocking. It was even featured on a recent ITV investigation. We are investigating the conditions inside the resort's most famous holiday camp, Pontins. It's also had some pretty bad press too. So I check out the accommodation in each site. And also some of the facilities as well. Some of them good and some of them pretty bad. My first trip is to Merseyside and the notorious Pontin Southport. The windows are so dirty, I don't know whether you can actually see that. There's a smiley face and a stick man on there. They could definitely do with a bit of a clean. Look at the door. The windows are absolutely filthy. Well, straight away, I can't believe I've just turned up on holiday and it looks like I've entered a war zone. Look at the state of the door. The window is actually rotting. So I've gone for a one bedroom apartment, so no bed in the living room. So I've got a nice living space and also a separate bedroom. A nice, someone's dirty hands on the door. I think I'll leave the door open, but I mean, really, the, fr the front door is awful. But literally, it's like, look at the mat. This mat hasn't been hoovered or shook for a while. Part of the wood is coming off the sofa. The walls are all stained. Just look at all those stains. I have no idea what that is. The sofa's got what looks like makeup on it. It's broken. Once again, it's all bust at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. There is no floor in this wardrobe. Well, it is just part of the floor of the kitchen or the living room. At least it comes with trendy hangers. The heat has seen better days. There's stains on there. In fact, rather worrying, all these like bobbles where it looks like when the heat has been on, the paint's kind of melted on it. Somebody said in my last video, can you see these stickers? Zoom in on the stickers, see if they've been uh, tested. I don't think so. In fact, I can see that that says, is that 2017, the last time that was tested? Or it runs out in 2017? See that on the camera, but there's a, there's a hair. <laughs> really random. Well, I guess there's one place to put it. Checking out the oven. Some fat in the bottom and some fat in there. That needs to be washed up. This bathroom gives me almost hospital vibes a little bit with the, the panelling and uh, what is that about? You normally get these in public showers, don't you? Just look at the shower head. Kind of a little mini bath. You can sit in there as well whilst having a shower. Paint's literally coming off the walls. This is the bedroom. Now, coming into the bedroom, it smells musty. I checked in just literally after four o'clock. The reception was shut. I had to go to the security office. They didn't give me a map, so it took me ages to find the apartments. And they also didn't give me any covers for the duvets. This so annoys me. Why is it when you come on holiday that you actually have to make the beds up? Surely that's something you should pay for. It looks all stained on the wall there, so you really are sharing it with whoever was there in the night previous. Hell is that? That is so weird. So you can see literally all the scuff marks, all the yellow stains. Question is, why is it yellow stains? Is this from when people used to smoke in the rooms? I don't know. So many bits. It's almost like they've been outside. They've been like shoved on the grass or something because they've got bits of grass, bits of dead flies on them. So this is my apartment block. Now, obviously, we had Storm Eunice a while ago, and I think that is previous damage to that storm. You can see the, uh, the guttering coming down there and actually part of the felt roof too. I think it's fair to say that some of these apartments, or most of them, look pretty grim from the outside. They definitely <laughs> need some TLC. Someone's kicked the uh, out of the brick there, but like the paint's literally just coming off. All the windows are absolutely filthy. Some of this has been touched up, but doesn't look very nice does it I mean look at the state of the doors I mean I've never seen anything like it beams being exposed what is it about pontins and people leaving the outside chairs out everywhere looks like somebody's drying their knickers out here 
People love using these chairs for all aspects, not just for sitting on. Look at all the graffiti on the wall. There's like loads of it all around here. So I don't know if you can see that, but um, all the windows are absolutely filthy and there's been swearing, graffiti, all on them. Can you imagine getting this room, coming on holiday and saying your room is 621? I think it's even worse than mine. Look at that. Paint blistered off the door. Just noticed that uh, is literally crumbling away. It's exposed, look, the ironwork. Obviously this is currently shut. Interesting note, please ask at go-karts to open. So I guess they store them in there. Not really dodgems, are they? In fact, I'm sure this used to be like a um, volleyball court or something like that. Hey, I've just noticed a coffee lounge over there. I've just checked in, ready to start my holiday, and nothing is open. Why does everything close at four o'clock? Especially when you're on a holiday park. But there is a coffee shop here, coffee lounge. I don't think it's open. No. They replaced all the signage um, years ago with new pontins, which they've, uh, the first time I've seen it on any pontins actually, especially to the entrance to the entertainment. A bit of a driving school here. This looks good. Although all the palm trees are bust. <laughs> And then there's a miniature golf course here. This could do with a little bit of a grass cut. I don't know, there's something about getting ready to hit the golf ball and it being stopped by weeds. The park is open, I've paid to come here, yet nothing is open. So this is obviously the main room I've just walked into, big stage, absolutely humongous room. I didn't know there's a blue coat shop. What can you buy in there? Oh, I see, bingo books probably. This room is absolutely massive. Just like the old fashioned days of the holiday parks. I take it this is where the VIPs sit. Best view of the house. What I don't get is the room is open yet the bar's not. So that's the entertainment complex. And this is what you call one big car park. But by the looks of it, it used to be for sport because you can see some outlines on the floor here. So I guess maybe it was used for football or tennis, I don't know. But now it's uh, full of these containers. And once, <laughs> once again, there's more sofas just thrown everywhere. Were they not good enough? You can see how old the park is actually. Just look how old the fence is. The fence is made out of concrete and all that barbed wire. I wonder what this is, or was. Some kind of um, monster truck area? This is part of the site, yes? No? I'm in 796 block two. Oh, there it is in front of me, block two. So this is my room. Why do I get nervous before I actually unlock the door? Because I guess you never know what you're gonna expect. So I've booked basically a, a standard room. The mattress, just looking at it closely, I can already see there's stains all along here. Okay, so this is gross. I just thought I would double check the other side of this. This has the odd stain on it, but wait till you see this. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that looks like a big old yellow wee stain or some kind of soiled substance. That's on the mattress that you're lying on. Look at those stains. God knows what that is. These are the pillows that you've got to use, and I don't know whether the camera picks that up. There's a nice yellowish stain on there, and that smells like someone else has laid on it. In fact, there's a hair on it. Are these supposed to be clean? There's stains on it. It's a bit like a bed sit, actually. Now, one thing I must stress, you normally have to pay extra for bed linen, but the lady on reception kindly gave me this. And ready for a cozy night in. That's the bed made. The thing that's on my mind, the mattress underneath that's got yellow pea stains on it kind of does freak me out just a little bit. A mattress protector wouldn't have gone amiss, would it? So I've got a telly. Please be aware this TV is micro-tipped with a tracking device. Theft or attempt, 
theft of the TV were reported to the police. Why would you want to steal that? That's pretty old, right? So if I want to cook myself a fry up in the morning. Oh my God, that's gross. Look at that. I think the saucepan's even worse. Look at that. I would not want to cook any food in there. Now, they should give you, the thing is, no one told me about the electricity. I kind of knew this from the past, but I should have got some on the way in. But the bathroom, as you can see, is pretty bulk standard. Obviously, it smells pretty damp in here, because I mean, like, let's face it, there's just that one little fan. There's no real, well, there's no windows, obviously, so it's quite dark and gloomy, but look at that mold. That's not very nice. Can you hear that? That is like the most squeakiest door ever. Well, on the face of it, is it that bad? There's some bits that are actually quite grim in there. Uh, but let's go and check out the facilities on the site to see what it's like, because it's absolutely beautiful. I don't want to miss the sunshine. I tell you what though, if I was over this side and I thought, yeah, it's going to be lovely to get a bit of sunset action, I then unfortunately have to look at that and they haven't really tried to cover this up either because there's no fence there oh my god you can actually see all the linen just shoved in there i think there was one fence up but that's been pulled down so let's just quickly walk around this semicircle see what the other parts of the park are like this is the old style holiday park which uh personally i'm a big fan of that's not what you want to see when you come on holiday in fact as you look down here it is all like this. Imagine coming out of your holiday accommodation and seeing this. One good thing about the site is that you can't get lost. The entertainment and all the other stuff is all situated right at the front of the park. Blue Coat Shack. Anyone know what this is about? <laughs> That's really random. Yeah, so this must be the basketball court. That's seen better days. That's seen better days. Overgrown, to say the least. Anyone for a dunk? Not great advertisement for pontins right now. That's busted up. The pea's gone off for pontins, and the paint is literally coming off this uh, Queen Victoria pub. It's really sad to see because of what it used to look like back in the day, but look at it now. It's like the paint's all peeling off, the windows, and God knows what's on all the windows up there. I do find this funny on a fish and chip shop, they're advertising tea and coffee. Yeah, 180. Oh, another sign there, 180. <laughs> tea and coffee, 180. And tea and coffee, 180. They are really definitely trying to sell the tea and coffee in a fish and chip shop. Again, what is it with these and pontins? Every single one I've ever come across, they're never working and they're all out of order. So they do have some go-karts. Again, they're not open at the moment. There's some inflatable zones. But this is the go-karting track. Not quite sure what this area is. Again, this looks like a bit of a mess, doesn't it? I can hear some kids in there, even though this is all roped off. So that's the skate park behind me. Um, and obviously it is all fenced off, but there are kids in there playing. I mean, obviously it's just no one stopping the kids going in. You can see it's a bit dangerous. Sounds like they're still having a go on the skate park, even though it's shut. Shame there's no security there to stop those kids, because if that was my kids, I'd be getting a bit stressed that they were playing in there. At least if you want to have a moan about the accommodation, there is somewhere to go. They're probably not open right now though, are they? No. Is food finished or is it still going on? So some of the food on option, fish cakes, chips, it's like a buffet I think you have here. Good old fashioned holiday parks. This is so weird, it's almost like so retro. Cool, you can tell this carpet hasn't been hoovered in a while. It's almost like you can imagine where the judges sit. <laughs> the size of this room though, it's epic. Although it does feel like a canteen. Carpets have seen better days. You can't deny though, the entertainment they've got on for kids at Pontins is very good. Here we are, 4.30. And once again, what greets me is um, what looks like, blimey. That is loose. Why that's gonna come down on somebody's head. Let's have a look in the room then and see what we get. So this time I've decided to go for a one bedroom apartment. 
Sofa test. Whoa. Ow, that hurt. You're gonna sit on this sofa, sit right in the middle, not right at the end where there's a big, what seems to be a wooden post. I think someone's been eating biscuits on here because it's absolutely full of crumbs. Tell you what, nice view. This though has seen better days. I mean, you can just see all the grime on there from past bits of cooking. It's also rusting badly. And it's like, that's like rust on there. Look at that, I'm pulling the rust off. So obviously when you cook on there, that's gonna obviously burn. That was a bit of food. Do I dare open the oven? That hasn't been washed up very well, so that's gonna need washing up. Got bits of grease on it. I don't understand how or why, but the fridge is like rusting. I didn't even know a fridge could do that. And I can tell you this fridge has seen better days. If you look at that, the amount of bacteria growing in there. Is that, is that mold? Dear, I don't think I'd want to put my stuff in this fridge. The freezer bit isn't shut properly. There's also a bit of a smell in there too. Cutlery drawer, tell you what, straight away I open up the cutlery drawer. Look, the rust theme continues on the spoons. I know these are stainless steel, but I don't know if you can see that. That is definitely rust on the forks, in the fork drawer as well. Even a little bit on the spoons. That's not overly that great. Do you know what? It doesn't smell too bad. The same problems that I've seen in other places is the stainage on the bed. These are supposed to be clean, but there's a, there's a stain on there. I'm noticing a theme in this room. They're like... This is the mattress, right? Look at all the crumbs. It's like someone's been eating biscuits like everywhere. Random. It's, it's all over the bed. There's crumbs. It feels like, look, grit. So I've just turned this mattress over and I'm sure that they turn it onto the better side because as you turn it over, you can see the stains. There's more stains there, not pleasant. Go check out the bathroom. The bath doesn't overly look too bad. Dirt on the bath, and there's a, uh, I just got that off of my finger. That's brown, don't know what that is. One downside, there's no hot water. The hot water tank will take approximately 60 minutes to heat up. Please be aware that the size of the hot water tank in each apartment is not the same as found in a four bedroom house. Do you know what, I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this, but that room wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Should we go and check out the rest of the park? Because I've got my map here. And what's really cool about this park is the fact that they've got go-karts and dinosaur land. Obviously kept the paint up a little bit. It's like I'm in the yellow zone. The only thing is if you don't keep your curtains shut, people will see right into your rooms. You can see the drain pipe has literally come away there. So obviously it literally comes down the wall. So that's probably gonna cause damp, isn't it? How random, there's a mop head there. And they do seem to have a problem with gulls here. Please do not feed the gulls. They are not hungry, they are just greedy. And they are everywhere on the park. Obviously being by the sea, you expect that. So some of these are a bit mean. Almost dive bombing me. Maybe it's the color of my t-shirt, I don't know. And what's quite handy is all the uh, apartments are actually color coordinated, so it's easy to find your apartment block. It must be change over day or something, but the fact that it's just people's, what could be their duvets for the night? Maybe they're used, I don't know, but they're just kind of just left. There's some more actually up there as well. And I don't know why I keep seeing these sponges everywhere, but look, you can see into people's rooms. It must be very quiet because half of these are not um, full up with people. The chalets are very dated though. Looks like there's like loads of clothes just shoved in there. It's just sitting out here on the green. There's another one there. Jurassic Kingdom by these lovely big recycling container things. Just thrown in with old sofas and old mattresses. Welcome to your holidays. In fact, there's, a, there's one unopened. Could have that. I'll probably give it a miss. So this is Dinosaur Land and the go-karts up here. That's pretty good, actually. All the dinosaurs in here, look. So it's just a little area where there are dinosaurs and information about them. I don't think they move. Now, if that moved every so often, that would actually be quite good. 
So just taking a look at the map where we are right now, here in Dinosaur Land, I'll quickly check out the go-karts and then of course I will head to the main venue. It's quite a long walk. So if you're wondering why it looks deserted, it's because I've arrived on a Sunday and I think there's been uh, some event on this weekend and obviously they've all gone home so it's probably change over day. So these are the, uh, the go-karts. Now, bearing in mind, I know it's currently shut, but I can't see, unless I take all the go-karts out, it's just left open. And there's even a, a petrol can in there. And some electrics, there's no light. I don't know if this has been running for a while. I could be wrong. Let us know in the comments if you've actually seen this running. But today, it doesn't look like it's been used in a while. If you're liking the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too, and give the video a thumbs up. That's obviously used to get you in the pit lane. Good to know they're health and safety conscious. So randomly just come across Xena's Wildlife Garden. Looks uh, a little bit um, interesting <laughs> and completely full of wildlife. I guess it's supposed to be like this, overgrown. What wildlife can we see in this garden? Let us know in the comments. Oh, there's a pond. There is a pond that looks completely and utterly overgrown. This might actually be left like this on purpose. I don't know. Is even something there for the birds. Maybe this is just storage. Doesn't overlook that nice, does it? So just notice these, never a good sign when you see things to catch mice and rats. But I guess it's good they're doing something. Table to play ping pong. And in every Pontins they have a Queen Victoria. So they've got music playing in there, I might have to mute it. Reminds me of a weather screen, actually. There it is. Again, you can never knock the, uh, the entertainment at Pontins. I think this is obviously where bingo must be going on a little bit later. So it looks like the signage is a lot better on this park than other Pontins I've gone to. Oh, I've just noticed. Let's see if this is out of order compared to every single one. I've ever seen at a Pontins. I didn't say it's out of order. Let's have a walk into the main room, shall we? This is reception as well. Wow, this looks good. Holiday sales, pre-book your holiday whilst you're here. It's like a boat with the cannons at the bottom. That's actually the reception. So this is the main room, let's go and check it out. In fact, if we go that way, main entertainment hall, fun factory this way. Uh, which way should we go? No, actually, we've got this way where the lights are. You can hear the bass. So this is where the skate park and the urban gym is. Well, at least the skate park is uh, open and there's an outside gym for you to work out. Wow, just seeing that uh, big support for the building there. Slightly worrying. Well, it's good they've put it there, but not something you really want to see when you come on holiday, is it? Some people have also commented about the fact that they feel like a, a bit of a prison with barbed wire. Obviously, they've got to keep security on the park. I guess it could be a little bit nicer. The front entrance, it reminds me of the old holiday parks from the 60s. The sign has seen better days. Right, so I'm in block six. Just here. 56, here it is. So, first impressions. I'm getting a running theme with these chairs everywhere. It's basic, and I tell you what, when I actually booked it, they said I wouldn't have a cooker. Yet I do, and it looks all right. It looks, well, it looks clean. Have a cup of tea. Oh man, that's disgusting. What is that? Okay, I just pulled that off with my finger. Is that like coffee or something gross? I think they could do with changing the filter there. It's not the best. Floor is wet, I have no idea what's on it, but that does not look nice. Nice bit of mold on the shower curtain, but you know, I guess that's uh, that's standard. Let's have a look. So I've gone for a studio 
which I believe that pulls out to a sofa bed. I've been messing around with this for about 10, 15 minutes, and I think I've only got radio, TV, maybe extra. I don't know, but I can't seem to work that out. Let's check out the bedroom, but let's uh, try out the beds. Right. If I weed the bed, obviously that protective uh, <laughs> mattress on the end. What is that? Is that like paint? I have no idea what that is. To be honest, I don't really want to know. Looks like a bullet hole. Oh, look at the poor hangers. Well, at least they're free. There is just a little bit of mold. The view isn't overly that exciting. People's mattress just hanging over the edge. Nice. Right, let's check out the map. There's Bouncy Castle, there's Crazy Golf, there's a sports field. We'll check out the main venue as well. There's a skate park on here. And there's also fun bikes. So this is the tennis court. Well, there's one net up. Some broken signage. Broken bits of wood. Blooming chairs everywhere. Anyone for basketball? <laughs> Love these chalets, they're very retro. In fact, the whole part's retro. On the map, this is the leisure zone. I think there's like inflatables up here and some other. Oh, nothing seems to be open though. It's a bit of a shame. This has seen better days. Why don't they just like get rid of this? Why do they just leave it there? It looks awful. It just feels like the park's closed down. Wow. This is the go-kart track. Overgrown weeds. I mean, is this even open? Don't think it's been open for a while. Look, the cabin's just full of rubbish. See, it's a shame, I wanted to come on the go-karts. I mean, really? How this has just been left like this? on a park that is open to the public and people are paying to come here on holiday and even on the map it tells you that all these facilities are here not that they're overgrown, old and shut and broken So the racetrack has seen better days This is the inflatable zone But I mean I've just checked in and um, everything is like padlocked, locked and switched off. The only things that you can go on, really, is the park. Oh, and the um, exercise place just over there. Wow. So maybe this is open. No, this is all overgrown as well. Crocs mini carts. No carts out here. It's all overgrown. Another one of these that's out of order, again. Why don't they just get rid of them? If it's out of order, look at the colour of the water. That is disgusting. All right, so what about the crazy golf? Again, it has seen better days, but is it open? I want to do something. I've just travelled three and a half hours to come here, and I looked on the map and there's all these cool things, yet there's nothing to do. Everything is shut. All right, so there is something to see here. Some birdies. So I just spoke to someone else who's here on holiday. They complained about their room and when they went to reset, they basically were told, well, it's somewhere to lay your head down. So if I'm being honest, the clubhouse is the best thing on the park. So if I had to rate these pontins, I would say that Canvas Sands generally was the best one I found. The park was generally clean. The main entertainment area was really good. The only letdown was that wildlife garden and the go-karts. Now, obviously, the next three scored pretty low. Prestatin in North Wales, I would also score as 20% or less. My bed sit style accommodation was not great. Neither were the stains on the bed. The way we saw the bed linen thrown everywhere looked like a garbage tip. The state of the outside accommodation was pretty grim. The so-called bar 
basketball court, wow. And the abandoned skate park where the kids playing in was a massive health and safety concern. But again, the park did have a great entertainment venue and restaurant. Breen Sands accommodation was not too bad compared to what had been reported on TripAdvisor. However, the facilities on the park were a big letdown and the state of the go-karts, broken machines, weeds overgrown in the tennis courts. Well, I'll let you decide. The main entertainment complex, as always, was the best thing about the park. And again, Southport scored pretty low. The outside accommodation was disgustingly dirty. Graffiti was everywhere around the windows and the chalet, which also looked dirty on the inside with broken sofas, wardrobes and not so nice bathrooms were a bit of a big letdown. Dinosaur area was good, but the crazy golf, you had to dodge the weeds. So would you agree or disagree with my recommendations? Do let us know in the comments. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you want to see the full four videos from the Pontins Parks that I visited, the link's in the description. I'll see you next time.